Uh. Ooh, we did it. We made it. We survived it. We're here. It's a Tuesday. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Great Night Pre-Show Green Room Great Room Whole Thing. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show Green Room Great Show Navigator. Uh... I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you into the green room a little quick today. I'm gonna take you into the green room. Hopefully, they can hear me. Green room, can you hear me? No, but we can't hear Br Bryce. You can't hear me. Hello, Bryce. Hello, you cannot oh. hear me. No, it might no. be us. Hold Wait, on. No, hold on. is it? No. Hello, it, talking, it, talking. It's at oh, 91%. you know. Ninety-two uh, percent. Well, and climbing. It sh yeah. you should not we can't need... hear you, but I assume I'm, it's yeah. just give us a thumbs up if it means we're ready to go. Well, mm. okay, right, cool. Okay. I also yeah. want to know why we can't hear can, can I, Well, well we it's, we I can, I can try and solve it later. It yeah. No, you, we'll, 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 we'll work on tech shit, and the chat room will be very helpful. It'll be a lot of fun for all of us. Chat. This is very helpful and fun for me now. Uh, uh, R.I.P. Howard Hessman. R.I.P. Howard Hessman. Do yeah, you know who Howard Hessman is? Nope. He was Dr. Johnny Fever on oh, yeah. uh, WKRP in uh, Cincinnati. Uh, do you remember uh, him being on, yeah. he, uh, what, Head of the head, Class? Head of the Class. Yeah. That, was a, that was a decent follow-up uh, act. Yes. Wait, and why, I guess he I guess he wasn't getting paid enough, and then all of a sudden the Scottish dude showed up? Yes, the, yeah. which was also a fantastic act. Yeah, which, yeah. which by the way, that's a, that's a tough switch, is to replace your lead and have it still work. But yeah. it did still work. I like yeah. that other Billy dude. Billy Connolly yeah. was, was that. I know Billy Connolly. Yeah, but Howard Hessman, you never watched WKRP in Cincinnati? The the John, Johnny Fever? Just a bit yeah. outside Dr. For, for the old, uh, yeah, and for the old jerks. But, but for me, he that was one of the things that led me to radio. Is I, I so much love watching that show that I was like... Maybe I can do that someday. It, it, and I'm it was, like, oh, I did. It was on its, I don't want to say on its way out, but it was in syndication when I discovered it. It was part of that, that rock block of... Uh, an indication that the cartoons were over, along with good times and uh, yeah, and what's happening now. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, the the only episode I remember, or I guess I remember bits and pieces, but the only full episode I remember is when there uh, <laughs> there was a tornado warning, and uh, the only emergency manual they had was for a communist invasion. <laughs> and so <laughs> so they're doing they're they're just just replace the word communist with tornado, <laughs> and they're. Like Cincinnati is about to be invaded by the godless tornadoes. tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> if you see a tornado, uh, it's it was uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, I was talking with the uh, I was on the double toasted stream last night, and he was uh, Corey was talking about very special episodes. They're gonna do a, a oh, stream. Yeah. Where they're they're letting their audience pick a very special episode. Yeah, I mean it's um, got to be that different strokes about getting diddled. So that was that was the number one. Yeah, was the, the bicycle rape, shop owner. Which, yeah. like, we were talking once they take rape. I mean, really, like that's the number one draft pick for very special episodes, <laughs> right? <you>. True. <laughs> like, because everything else, unless it's murder, I mean, because like death and murder, that's a part of just What's regular drama. Major character dies, no, and they, no, possibly but, in real life. They so explain it to Valerie's a kid. Family? Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. No, but that, but that wasn't like, like that. Shit happens on shows constantly. Major characters die and everything. Like, very special episodes are like. Someone gets AIDS, or they introduce right. a character, yeah. like a, a thing that needs to be talked about that is uncomfortable to talk about. And Saved by the Bell, when one she's, speed. she's on yeah. speed, the heavy duty, like pretty I'm much. I'm so excited, and I just can't. Hide. I'm so scared. Those those those, those uh, uh, Norman Lear squared episodes where it's yeah. you you cross pollinate. Norman Lear with Norman Lear and get a very special episode. Yeah. yeah. Only they're not as funny as normal Norman Lear anything. Drinking and drugs. The one I thought of today that I I, I didn't think of last night was uh, Clarissa Explains It All. Yeah. Had an episode where she found lingerie. <laughs> And so it was like it was about the dangers of lingerie. No, it was it was about like sexualized like like young girls. Like so, when, would you say that's the lowest stakes? A very special episode. I don't know because I kind of feel like that in a weird way would almost be like a plot line on like Euphoria. Yeah. If, if it now, was like a thirteen year old, but girl. you can't you can't apply modern shows to a spe very special episode. 
Uh, well, considering I, Euphoria is basically a, four very special episodes every fucking episode. Okay. Like, where like yeah. everybody's on OnlyFans and on Crank and catfishing each other. Sure. And, you know, uh, uh, doing everything that is like, you know, they call it blank and your kids may be doing it. It's so like, isn't it Riverdale? Or didn't Riverdale turn into that to where it's just like I didn't ridiculous? Watch, I didn't watch Riverdale, but apparently Riverdale... I heard pretty good things about it. Apparently Riverdale also just started going into like... Insane. Yeah, but also like mystical and yeah, like time because they, travel. They, they, they cross-pollinated with the Sabrina... Uh, I love uh, Sabrina. The, 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 <laughs> chilling, straight up. the chilling adventures of Sabrina. Yeah, featuring copyright infringement for the... Uh, the, the Church of Satan or Satanic Church Temple or Satanic which, which Temple, are, yeah, yeah, yeah. They ripped the, off the, the, her, the, their their statue. I, but, well, well, and and because they they're the Satanic Temple, they they copyrighted the the image of of ba, ba, Baphomet? Baphomet? Baphomet. 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 I was hoping that Bryce would walk in here and go, "Did someone say Satanism?" But that's okay. <laughs> You uh, fancy, you fancy, young Bryce, uh, uh, a man of uh, the Dark Lord. I think. <laughs> like, I think what that the keep, fuck is that? Question? I think Bryce keeps his options open. I think uh, that's how that works. <laughs> Hail <laughs> Santa! <that> questions. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you this time. Yeah, yay! Yay! Are. <laughs> yay. Uh, so um, uh, 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 we were talking about just as we were about to go in uh, uh, during the pre-production meeting. Uh, I was there before <laughs> Justin showed up, and and Brett is kind of walking in circles, and and <laughs> he expresses a version of I flew too close to the fucking sun, Brian. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like just imagine walking yep. in circles, like these wax motherfucking wings they melted. Yeah. And I'm like, what's going on, Brett? And you're like, I I, I worked too close to five o'clock, and now yep. it's like they're trying to they're trying to grab me. They're trying to grab me. It <laughs> takes me 15 minutes to change my head from one space to the other. Gotcha. And and. Uh, I was all ready to do that until... And then I, I caught a stray. And then Slack, then Slack goes, so, uh, one, of my, one of my direct reports who I've not talked to before, hey, you got a minute? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And so we went all the way up. We went all the way up to uh, 4.58. And I'm like, cool. And then I got out and that's when I walked in. I'm like... My head is not here. It's yeah. going to take me a bit. And Brian caught me. Uh, uh, here's a fun trick is if you hang up mid-sentence, it sounds like something went sideways. <laughs> You're like, 100%. You know I will always be. Hip, boop, yeah, boop, but boop. you can't do that in Slack. Uh, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you could just walk away. That would be, that would be, a, great, that would be a great thing in Slack if you set your away message and whenever anybody tried to at reply you would dial tone sound played like no, wait. like hey can you boo Did, hold, here's an idea uh do you remember video games used to have a boss key the idea being you're you know you didn't have access to a pc at home so you were doing it at work and when the boss came by it you would hit f11 yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so um imagine that but it's a it's a uh uh designed to and this is probably triggering given the fact that our bandwidth is always uh, fucking up but it's like <laughs> y it's it's a zoom degrader so yeah. it's like you hit you double click go and and it just and it just it, your signal just progressively gets worse <laughs> over a four minute period it's like the sleep mode. And, and, and then yeah. and then, and then it just eventually it leads bop, tip, bop, bop. Uh, i'm sorry uh, yeah. and then and then you drop the call and then the, it's a very plausible descent yeah <laughs> I, 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 think, I mean, I'm new enough at this new gig that I. You don't have want to, to pull that now. No, that's that's a that's a year in. I'll be you know, I'll, what I'm going to end up. I'll, I'll be training them. I'm going to be training them to say, dude, if it dudes, if it hits quarter, just stop talking to me. Just know, right? It's not going to be good. I, I actually had to do that to a uh, data analyst who kept contacting me during lunch. Oh so, yeah, so and I'm like. It's my lunch time. Can, can can you do like a trade where it's like uh, uh, here's here's the thing that no boss will ever do. I make myself available from eight a.m. to noon on Saturday mornings. Oh, in no, trade for that, fuck that. Nobody nobody else is going to take you up on this. I bet you they would. No, no. It's a twenty four seven thing, man. Uh, okay, okay or fine, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From from uh, just lie. I mean, who cares, right? Mm. But in exchange, he's encouraging me to lie. 
You see this? Huh. Yeah. Hey, breaking news. The host <laughs> of Scam School encourages <laughs> man to lie. <laughs> host of Hacking the System You're and the Modern to Road may me, not be you? trustworthy. How dare you try to corrupt me? All right. <laughs> or better yet, give them, give them a uh, say, listen, there's a special uh, social network that I make myself available on, and it's just a bot that <laughs> that, that, that just replies. Yeah, go like, ahead, but will it scale? Uh, yeah, Everything yeah. is, but will it scale? <laughs> right, yeah. right. They're like, huh, ah, well, what do you think we should do about that? How does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, but will it scale? <laughs> <laughs> what was that in Last Action Hero when he like has the recording of like himself and and it's like whatever female character is like calling him he's like yup uh huh <laughs> right right <laughs> I am so listening to you Wait, right now th that wouldn't be Last Action Hero would it uh, I, if it's yeah, it might not be, but I remember it as Last Action the, Hero. The, the similar True Lies, maybe True Lies. That's what it was. It, was, it, true it was Lies? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that that definitely what an belongs. What underrated movie! Uh, what a fantastic. Dude, underrated. Uh, I saw I saw a conspiracy theory saying that uh, James Cameron is so embarrassed of True Lies and its racist portrayal of terrorists that you can't get it anywhere in HD. Last Action Hero when his ex-wife calls. Oh, that's what it is. Boom. Oh, that's right. That's in the movie verse. Boom. That's what it is. Because in the real world, he tries to pretend to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, not knowing who Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, is. That's and he right. goes, hello, I am Arnold Braumschwanger. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, boy, talk about underrated movie. I enjoyed the hell out Last of Last Action, Action Hero. Oh my god! Like one of one of the Some most things rotten in the state of Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 one of the most unfairly maligned bombs uh, I can remember from. I think my that high was just years. one of those where like it. He had he was on such a heater, Arnold. That Arnold. like people just wanted to. It was <laughs> it was a big movie. It was a higher concept movie. And yeah. it, people just wanted to shit on it. Well, especially like when I did hear people shit on it, they shat on it. It was very clear that they didn't get the joke. The joke was these are Hollywood tropes. And, yes. and may, maybe it was too early for us to be self-aware. Like this is a time when late eight. So this is very, very early 90s. It's a time when, when they that? were still using the trope of glass panels. When was panels. Last Action Hero? 1992. I worked at the movie theater. Damn. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> 1993. Okay. I also worked at the movie theater. <laughs> still saying. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you've got ticket stamps to prove it. Yeah, exactly. See, look. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, but but like it was a time when, unironically on TV, they would still be doing the trope of glass panes going yeah, across sure. that would go through. And, uh, and so... so to make fun of it, I think in a pre-internet era, it was just a smidge. I think a lot of people just didn't get that they were making the joke. Yeah. Pointing I out. think it was also hard because he was defining the tropes. Yeah. Like right. so it wasn't like a comedian it's that like, was you pretending can't make to fun be of an that. You're the movie. one who made them. Come on. Although apparently I can't remember where in the timeline this is. I think after Last Action Hero bombed. It was a while. He was going to do a Hans and Franz movie, with, yeah, uh, along with, with Dana, Dana Carvey. Carvey and Kevin Nealon. But then yeah. he had uh, Dana Carvey had the heart thing, or no? He was scared of comedy. Oh, he was like, I'm not going to do another comedy until I have another. He was action great hit. in Twins. I think that was a little bit later. Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. Uh, no, I, it, was it, I think those were earlier. Or was it earlier? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe, then maybe he was like, "All right, I'm, I'm, I'm out of it." I, I forget. I, the, I, I don't know the timeline straight, but I know that yeah. he was gonna do it. It was like a, a finished thing, and then Dana Carvey said that like he was scared off because he had a, a bomb. Well, and also comedy. Hans and Franz was going to be. A, There's a bomb in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Hans and Franz was going to be a musical to boot. So it's like, like if action, if Last Action Hero was an action movie with a wink and and some laughs. Yeah, this was going to be a straight up comedy. So I could totally understand, mm -hmm. but uh, d uh, did you know? Uh, I, I think we both read Total Recall, the autobiography that he did. He talks about how uh, before Twins, nobody was dumb enough in Hollywood to do a movie with no guarantee and only points. Oh, uh, really? It, it was him and Danny DeVito, and uh, and I think the uh, was it the, was the director Ivan Reitman. Um, sounds sounds right. Something like that. Yeah. But, but but basically, they're all like these stars, this story. 
uh, no guarantee, just percentages, and they made so much fucking money mm -hmm. that Hollywood was like, yeah, never again. Yeah, We're yeah. never doing that again. <laughs> we should never do that. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. Yeah. Which yeah. is weird because at that point you're betting on a bomb. Yeah, I yeah. Think Jack yeah. Nicholson got points. It went only on points for Batman. Uh, uh, reduced amount. So, so you would get a point yes. or whatever, but you had a guarantee. Okay. They said no guarantees. We want no upfront money. I, so just yeah. to be clear. I'll say upfront. Yeah. Upfront. Hey. They, the, the, you know the funny thing about that about points is when I was doing when I was really heavy into voicing anime. That was one thing you were free basing points. I said, you know what? Don't pay me. Let pay me in points. And they were like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, no, I'm serious. And they're like, you don't no, you're no. So no. No. Bryce, I almost made a joke that would uh, uh only appeal to a very small segment of our audience. When okay. you came in, hmm. uh we always liken it to Kramer kicking in the door. So when you came in just now, I was like, hmm. hey everyone, it's a drug dealer. <laughs> uh, but I realized that nobody would, would that get would it. Only would have been me also, he wasn't a drug dealer. He he was a loan shark. Oh right, he because was, he was covering the gambling yeah, debts. So. We, we watched. We I don't about? know. Uh, uh, Kramer was on Miami Vice. That's where Kramer was uh, <laughs> on Vice, and he like played a serious like a serious sure. loan, loan shark. shark. He wasn't like joking. I saw a really funny TikTok where it was like ruining a Seinfeld Lego set in one move. And uh, and so it's this whole Lego set of the set and everything, and then all of a sudden you just hear this voice like, "No, no, no!" <laughs> they and said the hand, and mm. the hand takes Kramer off the set <laughs> and puts him on the stand-up comedy <laughs> set. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so? I'm like, no. No, 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 I mean, oh, it was it was one of the most awkward moments, and also it was super weird because you know Letterman had tremendous respect for Jerry Seinfeld because right. he didn't make fun of it or not allow it, which right. is like for the famously provincial Letterman, like he would have done one of two. So he like he allowed a very 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 distressed like hostage video Michael <laughs> Richards to be like like. I'm just, uh, I, oh, I, uh, so embarrassed. And I oh, never, I never thought, I never yeah, thought wait, wait, wait. you know, like, I, oh. anyway, I'm, we, this is the last moment you'll see me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll go to Jerry's show later, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and I'll that tell was you it. the only letter man that I'm interested in is Who's that, that? Uh, Kramer. Was Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> When he's done. I'm you, Jerry. And now the only Letterman I'm interested in. I was gonna say, did he play football in high school? Like, <laughs> look, I wasn't. I, is, is I that, miss. I don't. I missed all of this. I'm trying. Is, to, yeah. is, is that one of the earliest? You don't know what happened with Kramer. I mean, I know what happened. And yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I know. He said the N word a I, lot. <laughs> And yeah, to, on stage, like the to black people, to yeah. black people, and because he was mad at them. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, he uh, said to also he had a fork up their ass, which is a weirdest. Sure. That's not that. I don't know. Did that get subsumed into racist canon? Yeah. I don't know if I who I want to look at. And he said, "Hey, buddy. Hey, get buddy. Out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comedians <laughs> in sewers <laughs> drinking <laughs> urine. <laughs> That's Michael Richards' <laughs> Rumble.com show. He's like, it's good, right? It's good, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it will, we, we might be able to sell it to Crackle. Three, four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Man, I, the big news that I was reading before I came in here was all this NFL thing. Have you read any of this, Bryce? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Massive lawsuit. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 saw, I, yes, saw I saw it. I saw that. Uh, racism in the NFL. Have you heard? Uh, Have you heard? There's racism in the NFL? I'll take a knee for that. Uh, 
three, <laughs> four. And, uh, I saw the headline and I must have reread it five times because I was like, so Brian flies a lawsuit. Why would you fly? And then, oh, and then I realized, Flores. yeah, uh, no, 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 it was files, a files. lawsuit. Files. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alleging racism. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, uh, like the text message, like part of it as like yeah. the like silver bullet of so, it. So yeah, for, um, for for folks who have no idea what the fuck's going on, right? Uh, there is or was a black head coach of the Miami Dolphins. He got fired. Although he had done a pretty good job through two seasons. He has yet to get another job in the intervening month and a half. And now he has filed a unspecified damages lawsuit where he has like basically torched his career so he can embarrass the NFL. Yeah. Uh, up to and including the fact that he's gone on a few interviews. One was for the New York Giants coaching job when his ex-boss... Bill Belichick of the New, New England Patriots texts him and says, hey, congratulations on getting the job. And he's like, oh, my God, I haven't even interviewed interview. yet. How did you know? Uh, that, like, do you have like inside sauce? And he's like, yep, they love you. It's it, it's all a done deal. I heard from both New York and Buffalo. Yeah. And he's like, well, Buffalo, that seems kind of weird. Uh, and he's like, wait, are you talking to Brian Flores or Brian Dable, the Buffalo oh. offensive coordinator who had just oh. interviewed with the Giants. Mm -hmm. And Bill Belichick is like, hey, my bad, man. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Still a great it's night. Still a great <laughs> night. <laughs> oh. And so and that so is he had yet to. And, and, and there's also another thing here that in the NFL they had put uh, about five or six years ago a rule in where you have to interview a minority candidate uh, for every position. And so he was talking about all these sham interviews that he's been on, including one where everybody was totally drunk. They showed up an hour late and were It fucking... was that interview. From, no, no. This was, from... no. This was the Denver interview oh, okay. a year prior. Yeah. They showed up an hour late, clearly just drunk and hungover. Yeah. Wow. Um, drunk and, so... and hungover? <laughs> oh, well. I mean, you can't. Nah, yeah. You can be both. I had <laughs> been drinking, comma, hungover. Yeah. yeah. Got it, it. it might be hungover, and they're like, well, shit, I might as well. And then Hair of the dog. dog. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that was specified in the lawsuit. But, uh, <laughs> but well, uh, it's weird how the, specific they were. <laughs> the, the, there are. Um, Separate story, like uh, we we just so happened to release a modern rogue episode about how to survive the next Texas freeze, and it happened to come out uh, like days before weather.com starts saying, Hey, for the first time ever, all of Texas is about to have uh, 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 you know, is under a, a freeze storm warning, warning, right? Yeah. Uh, and so uh, part of me wonders, given the fact that you know sports uh, likes to talk about sports, there's over in politics land another. Uh, story about race uh, uh, and, uh, and and uh, fairness that is happening uh, with the Supreme, the Court. Supreme Court. So yeah. I, I wonder uh, if 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 similarly this isn't uh, going to be the best Black History Month ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it is the first day of Black History Month too. <sighs> Three, four. <laughs> I had a great moment. I had a great moment at the regular job when it was announced. Hey, this is. Uh, this is bl the beginning of Black History Month. And I said, so we're going to talk about Martin Luther King, Frederick Douglass, uh, 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 George Washington Carver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, like wow, wow. Hey, did, 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 you, did you just pull a Rick Perry? You got two, uh, two of the yeah. three departments that you well, want to eliminate? But when, yeah. up, but when I'm there, it's gone. <laughs> but, but when they, they, they were like, really? Are we gonna? And, and someone challenged me. They're like, okay, well, like who else? And I go, Robert Smalls. Do you guys know who Robert Smalls is? <laughs> and they were like, no. And I'm like, Robert Smalls is like most awesome. He was a slave uh, on the Confederate side and he stole a ship and took all of the took a bunch of uh, 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 fleeing slaves with him, stole a Confederate ship, and went to the Union side, basically saying, fuck you all the way out, made it safe to the Union side, and actually became a, a senator. I, yeah. Or not a senator, a representative for four terms. Wow. Awesome. That needs to be a movie, is what I'm saying. And they're like, you know about that? I go, oh, I have more. 
But like what? I'm gonna wait for it's not tomorrow. For next no, Black History Month. Is it like an advent calendar? <laughs> it's, yes, it's, yeah, it's an advent yeah, calendar. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I open them up early. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a thousand and one. Uh, only unlike uh, unlike my advent calendar, uh, <laughs> yes, <that's laughs> which you came over and just started is this tearing an advent into. Advent calendar of jerky. <laughs> yeah. You, you yeah. definitely just started Sorry. wolfing down okay, all so, my shit. <laughs> so I'm just now hearing about this, but I do have a question about the beef jerky advent calendar. How did it get to the point where you? There were any left. How did you not go through all of them? I, I started. Jerky. It was. I was. Day. I was behind. Okay. Uh, I think I was five days behind. Huh. Uh, it, you know, because I would lag and then and then and you know do, uh, have a few of the the flavors. Yeah. Uh, and so I think you had gotten two or three in. I no, I didn't eat any of it. No, I no, just no, opened no, it up. No, he, I was had, like, he had what? opened one, and I was like. What the what fuck are you doing, are you doing dude? <laughs> like, this is a <laughs> why are you opening <laughs> like yeah? I was like, it's like I thought it was just a a fun thing where you poke your finger in and <laughs> I just saw a bunch of doors. <laughs> yeah, of I used to be Catholic. I'm not Catholic anymore. We have an open door policy. <laughs> uh, wait, when did this happen though? Just before Christmas. I mean, oh, okay, like, okay. Way I was like expecting this to be last week. <laughs> no, uh, like, that would be <laughs> awesome. But, like Brett, it's like it's over. Come no, on. I did. I, I did fall behind. I, I I still had some left over at Christmas, but man, that was good stuff. Mm. Uh, they, they, Never they had, tried like, it. What was it? It was habanero a, and Carolina Reaper and they, 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 just a whole bunch of the variety of jerky. Yeah, and yeah. You, you could tell that this is a jerky company who had this idea. Uh, and uh, the only thing I want to ding them on, opposed to an avionics company that had the jerky idea, uh, somebody who knows how to package things. Gotcha. Uh, so you could tell that they're like, we should do an advent calendar or whatever. Uh, and and in theory, you're supposed to be able to grab these and strip them open, individual little uh, sure. nuggets cool. of beef. Mm -hmm. But but uh, 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 very quickly by day three, I'm like, motherfucker, mm -hmm. fucking Christmas yeah. worth. I'm, I'm I'm Jewish now. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you. Open it up. This is not the body of Christ. Okay. <laughs> 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 is, is that, that what the advent calendar is supposed to be? Portioning <laughs> 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 no. out the Imagine body of Christ. I when I found us. out it was pork jerky. <laughs> hey, hey. With a Christ like that, you can't eat it all at once, right? <laughs> Three, four. <laughs> yeah. Once you save your, you've got to <laughs> savor. Savor the flavor. Something like that. We'll savor we'll, we'll the savor. We'll sell Pringles, don't you worry. We'll figure it out. <laughs> savor? Oh, my God. Savor could could you imagine <laughs> communion? Savor. Wafers the with savior. the tag long. Savor the savior. Savor the savior. savior. Yeah. Uh, uh, welcome. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, what do you yeah. say? Uh, New. Savor the savior. Oh, and, you, and with you. Uh, no. New. I love, I love, I love that we've demonstrated how fluent we are in the world of Catholic sacraments. That's there. right. Bryce knew, enough, Bryce knew enough that somebody handed somebody you something. Know what I know, I it would have been bad if I would have done it because there's three ways. Because one is. I this, guess it was bad that I assumed that you knew the Catholic communion. <laughs> I would have been like. You were like, whoa, what are you doing? Yeah. I have spent now 30 seconds trying to hold on to the joke about <laughs> regular or flaming hot. <laughs> Flaming hot Christ, Christ on the cracker. Christ. There we go. Christ on the cracker. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. The answer yeah, for the Wordle yeah. was Christ on a cracker. Yeah. Wordle got sold, huh? Low Dude, smart, seven smart figures. moves all around. I mean, good. good I mean, it ain't no. Uh, it, it definitely feels weird because, like, it's a thing people love and it's moving. Yes. But well, everybody's is, worried about it, but. But I think all, it is a good move. But, but like like New York Times, the the newspaper that is famous, most famous for its crosswords, yes. is is it seems like if you're going to trust a newspaper or a publication to yeah. buy Wordle, it seems like that would be a good steward. Um, but and their games their games division is is serious. They take it serious. I mean, it's yeah. its own separate subscription from the newspaper. In fact, I was confused because I finally subscribed and and I'm going through the web page every morning, and then it's like, you want to do a puzzle? I'm like. The fuck is this? I'm reading the news. Is this, <laughs> is this all still run by Will Shorts? Yes. Wow, that's great. So uh, I know do, things. Do, yeah, do you remember things. from the Game On days? <laughs> uh, R.I.P. Too soon. Uh, ten years ago, I guess that's ten years ago. Right now, was it? Yeah, it was 2012. Wow. Uh, uh, fuck me running. That's when uh, Draw Something difficult. sold to someone for I want to say like that was almost uh, for, 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 for like a hundred oh, yeah, million dollars or something Zinga, yeah. crazy yeah yeah and that was a similar run where it was like six weeks where it was like the hottest shit on the planet and then it's like cooking and now now like in the single digits of millions it's like yeah that seems more reasonable <laughs> I like that they 
they were very specific in the press release. The low seven digits. Un- also, fucking weird. Some. Not a press release, but Was an that- article written as if it were a press release from the New York Times. Oh, I saw a press release on their press. Site. Okay, well there was a write up. But maybe there they, was yeah, an maybe that is that is funny. This just in, uh, a newspaper who is us <laughs> made news today worldwide. That's, that's breaking news. I just like, got a double burger at your, Jack in the Box. You're you're a reporter for the New York Times. You could probably find out how much that went for. Yeah. By, by a R- certain R- amount R- of reports money. Reports say... What's that money? It was reasonable. Very reasonable, and everyone agrees well, it was a good number. Do you want a large curly fry? <laughs> <laughs> what they figured out, figured out is they did all right. They did okay. <laughs> I didn't know the motherfucker who invented it. Two things that shocked me. Number one, he's in Brooklyn... Mm-hmm. Wait, even though even though that shit's hosted hey, in the all UK, we need is five letters, all yeah. right? We can just go from there. No, I thought he was British, and I thought these right. words because were, it, it sounded British. Uh, it's, 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 host, it's hosted website. in a, yeah, UK. Yeah, it's like website. powerlanguage.co.uk. So is it that he sends it to him? They go, no, we're gonna change it to this. Uh, the other thing I was shocked by is that motherfucker's last name is Wardle. Which That's is why right. it's Wordle, which is why Wordle is not a fucking five letter word, which you would imagine it and should Word-O. be. And Wordle. Is five letters W R O D O or something that like you can? It doesn't have to be Wordle. You can make it five letters. Yeah, I actually like it more hearing that it's a play on his own name. Says the guy who registered Schwood.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much to the chagrin of a certain wooden sunglass company. <laughs> By the way, I don't see you posting on Twitter when I fucking do good on fucking Wordle. I see you shaming me fucking publicly. <laughs> and I fuck up Are you shaming from the group chat? Is that why we're wow. not doing it with no, Justin I, anymore? Sorry. Wow. I just I just really like that gif. <laughs> and I wanted an excuse to post that gif. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you had a great time posting that gif. <laughs> I mean, if if anything, I did all of us a favor because you upped your game with the, with the middle that. fingers and it's shit. It's <laughs> me finding out that at Justin R. Young failed to solve the last two days of Wordle. <laughs> Not even true. It was 203 days. <laughs> Uh, there was a day in between where in I between. got it. Because there was, there was an awkward... That seems, that seems fair game, though. There, I mean, no, yeah. I'm just saying. Apparently, the fucking fake news only reports <laughs> when I do bad, when I do fucking awesome. Well, uh, so I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get a fun <laughs> dog <laughs> gift of like, hey, by the way, Justin's been whipping ass lately. <laughs> I, know. I got I mean, it in two today. Yeah, I, I was about to gift. say, uh, uh, wait, wait. what? What was it? You said something like Bonnie was very impressed that you got it in oh. two, and you're like, Beast mode is in feast mode. Oh. Yeah, team Team Beast feast. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that was fe- good. Beast is my starting word. Oh, is that? And it's a great. Yeah, it's a great starting word. Beast. But, I, I've, uh, I've realized but, that that when you're when you're in competition with other people, like in a group chat, you you kind of have to roll the dice a little bit. And so I've been shaking up my starting words with with, with increasingly weird ones, hoping to get like a, a, a one two punch like yeah. that. Hmm. Mm. Um, I've got a question. Yeah. yeah, more for the three of us. Sorry, Brad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. This, this is Wordle talk. Yeah, Wordle, Wordle. Are we not doing Wordle in the group chat anymore? Or is that a Bonnie thing? <laughs> oh, uh, 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 I woke uh, up one day and there were like two group chats. Well, talking uh, about uh, I told Bonnie, I told <laughs> no. Bonnie that we were doing Wordle in the Great Night group chat, and then there's that moment where you're like. Oh, so without me, huh? <laughs> oh, and no. very quickly there was a new group chat. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I'm. I'm there's got to be a story to this. No, it, I'm it's, not going it, to poke it. It's quite, it's quite simply I was talking stuff I knew stuff the story, up. and I didn't even tell me. I knew exactly what went down when all of a sudden yeah. there was an identical group. You were ready right for the right time to put a tweet out. Yeah. When Ad Invisible Wife gets in the new group chat, yeah. and it's a gift. Uh, same dog. <laughs> it's like a bird. It's a bird doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm a bird. <laughs> Do birds make that face? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That Charles Nelson Riley face. <laughs> Boy, it's weird to have a pause where we're not ashamed of anything we said. Also, by the way, Four. this is true. A do is is a starter word. That's mm-hmm. a slammer. Yeah. That's a good one. A do but but also, really what the fuck, man? That shit is French. And <laughs> I mean, like, isn't, isn't that usually a thing? That, there are like some the, weird words in some of these. I, I play... The uh, guy's from Brooklyn. What do you expect? Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, hey, bitch, you a fun fucking a dude. Fucking a dude, you son of a bitch. A dude. Gabagool. I wonder if Gabagool. No, it doesn't. What the fuck over here? Mr. A dude. Mr. A dude. Okay, okay. Look at you, all right. Hey, Mr. A Let's exactly. Hey, oh, let's go. Fuck you, bit of do. Bit of do to you. <laughs> I said a do. Okay, I'm getting on the L train. <laughs> a do to you. Wow. Ah, much a do. The only accent we can still do. The That's fuck right. What is going on? I've never said any of us can do this accent. <laughs> a do. <laughs> This is what everybody says. Hey, hey. what's say what's spaghetti? <laughs> no. what's a, oh shit, I gotta go. Okay, you guys gotta feed <laughs> I got lost in the sauce of a do. Sorry. Do. Yeah. No, the one thing that I, I did want after I got a good Wordle score after Brian fucking shamed me on the internet uh, was after watching The Righteous Gemstones the night before to get a screen grab of the moment when young Judy Gemstone said, choke on shit. <laughs> so I played back the episode, uh, and apparently HBO does not allow you to take screen grabs oh, of their Screen shit. captures. They don't allow you to pirate their stuff. You know that the, yeah. the, the gemstone, the, she's from here. Yes. For, yeah. Edie Patterson's the, Austin, the local. property. Yep, she was. Uh, <laughs> she uh, lived here. Yeah. She, she, lived. <laughs> yeah, she started we, at the hideout. I no, think I, I heard that. No yeah. shit. Yeah. Wow. I three. three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, I I just want to go on a jag about the hideout and how much I love. Uh, uh, like, uh, if I, I, I've said this before, but but uh, uh, I, I I was one of the first people to ever rent the hideout to four wall ah. a show. And uh, uh, we did three nights. Uh, and it's a small venue. It's only 60-something seats it's the or best. whatever. I love that venue. Right. Uh, uh, and, and so I four-walled it, and it was back in the days in the 90s, in 1999, August, um, where you would pay somebody to go paper. Like, they would go to, like, yes. 37 different billboards yep. and put up you are having a live show and all that shit. And uh, 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 I, I remember— I think it's Rollerblade Collective or something uh, uh, yes, like that. Uh, uh, yeah, something roller, roller something. Yes. Uh, but— um, uh, uh, when they were cleaning up, or we were cleaning up after Bonnie overheard one of them saying, well, it's good to know we can sell out the place. So uh, I, I privately have held on to the distinction of being the first person to sell out the it's hideout It's weird theater. how we're all connected to that. Yeah. Because I know the original owner, and his, his wife is who Monica works with. Oh, of course. For Austin Ghost Tours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, now we're going to get into ghosts and yeah. shit. Um, Austin, traffic and weather. Yeah. No yeah. Way. You know what's really <laughs> great is when you go to night. Barton Springs and you <laughs> yeah. jump into the thing. Hey, and, man, you know what I miss is old Austin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why, New Austin's why? bad. I, I used to like it better when everybody was walking around saying, Hey, you do that. Hey, hey, you do that. Hey, you do Austin, hey. Hey. I'm on 6th Street wearing Birkenstocks, eating spaghetti. Hey. Don't make me fucking shame you, by the way, with the fucking grievous sin that you committed on the Thursday podcast. Uh, which, I, look, there have been many sins, but I mean, yes. Somebody over here did not know uh, what Austin legend sang the song On the Road Again. Uh, well, oh, no, you. No, made that, a was pun. that was me. <laughs> it was both of you. It was both of you. It was both of you. You know what I say to that? You know what I say to that? A dude, a both of you. I beat you a fun fucking a dude to all the douchebags I punched yeah, before. Yeah, fucking douchebag. All right, you didn't fucking know. Admit it. <laughs> You didn't well, know. No, I didn't get your joke because it, it was, wasn't a joke. It, it was funny. it was Bryce's trivia question. Which uh, of, of country artist had a book with no, uh, yeah, on the clean road again or something? Was that what it was? I thought it was a yeah, straight was weed it. or some yeah, shit. No, that was, no, a, it was yeah, okay. literally that. On the clean road again. Yes. It was a biofuel. Okay. A biofuel. A bio. Oh yeah, who does he biofuel? Sold, okay, yeah, not a book. So not a book. It's. Uh, I want you to think about, the about fuel. biofuel. <laughs> a book mm. about just, biofuel. Just live there, man. Live in your shit. Just All right. live there. 
All right, fine. Uh, got it. We, uh, g- 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 mm. Patrons, go back, roll that tape. <laughs> Fucking listen to that you shit. Feel, you Patreon, feel, Patreon, you feel, uh, Patreon.com. Feel really good about sending that tweet now? <laughs> <laughs> you think that shit was you? You think you were going to get off with that? Or was I going to say, oh, do it to you, yeah. motherfucker? Patri- patrons know. Patrons know. Patreon.com slash Patrons know that I'm telling the truth. <laughs> the like two Fs. <laughs> control truth. room to Brooklyn. T-R-O-O-R. Control room to Brooklyn. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's up? I can give you the fucking 411 for low seven figures. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> That's very expensive, AT&T. Hey, I'm just saying. This, uh, we, there's a new... The market's hot, baby. Hot. The market's hot. hot. <laughs> the market, the block is hot, baby. Come on. You got to hit us up. Seven figures or, or above. <laughs> seven figures <laughs> or above, <laughs> bitch. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm what's in. up? Uh, hello, it's me, the New York Times. Yeah, what? what's up, man? I, sell, I got a word game for you. L- let me Number in. one, uh, I got two nuts. Okay. Deep Where's nuts. your mom? <laughs> and I got it, and it's and it's starting at the fucking low seven figures, <laughs> the low it seven figures and above, okay. and above. Okay, uh, listen, it's me, the New York Times. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Times? What's up, T? Yo, what's up, T? My will, uh, baby, let's baby. Uh, uh, let's start the negotiation by telling you we're already gonna buy it. Okay. <laughs> Can you? Just- I like you. <laughs> I like you now. Before I didn't know if I liked you, but I like you now, dog. I like you a lot. <laughs> Can you please? I just want to let you know, T. <laughs> you're my fucking boy, my guy. All right, my guy. This is for real. <laughs> Dead ass, man. I love you. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> all right, what? So, what are we doing this for? Because I'm just gonna let you know, even though we have a bond, my guy. <laughs> even though we have a bond, that shit is still low seven figures or above. <laughs> Or above, there ain't no discounts for 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 good friends. <laughs> again, again, yeah, I, we are already saying I'm yes. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, we just want to know, yo, dog. <laughs> for real, I just want to let you know. I'm feeling a I'm feeling a bond right now, my man. I'm feeling a bond. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> So what are we selling? How are we doing this deal? How are we doing it? Control room to Bing Brooklyn. <laughs> Control room to Joe what Byron. Doing? Yeah, what's up? Bing bong. It's time to go. What are we doing? Oh, make it stop, please. All right. Oh, God. Uh, all right. I've, I've, I've ended the improv with my impression, my guy. I've ended it. It's all over. I squandered my money, man. I had those seven figures. Bye. Oh, God damn it. All right. Thank you, Green Room. Thank you, Green Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Great Night Pre Show. Uh, Pre Show, Great Room, all that sort of good stuff. Hello, I'm Bryce Castillo. Let's do a couple of birthdays really quickly. Uh, Elky SS is turning 46th last week. Happy birthday, Elky SS. Uh, and also, they're buying a new house that same day. Oh, wow. wow, that's a full birthday right there. That is, uh, in Elky's words, a hell of a birthday present. It is a hell of a birthday present. Congrats, Elky. And if you've got a, uh, if you've got a, a birthday we should shout out here uh, in the pre-show, go to discord.greatnight.tv. Check out the Birthday Borner channel and post it there. And we'll give you shout-outs. Hello, Corey. Hey, what's happening? Uh, how's it been? It's been good. It's yeah. been good. I've been, man, busy. Busy. And busy is the right word for it, I think. Yeah. We're, we're kind of getting back into the swing of filming things yes. with with getting back from the holidays and yep. between weather and yep. and then Yeah, we're working on lots of Modern Rogue stuff. It's really planning a lot for the new year. Yeah. You know, this year, hopefully... Hopefully things will be a little bit smoother later in this year. Mm. We're, we're attempting to lay a lot of the groundwork on what kind of modern rogue episodes we're going to shoot, what kind of guests we're going to do. Yeah. We're redoing the Patreon over there, and then of course I handle a lot of the business on the back end, right? So yeah. it's tax dealing with season. ads, dealing yeah. with yeah tax season Finances. and ads, and then just normal growth of the of the company. So it's uh, been active. Yeah, I don't. Uh... Uh, uh, I don't envy. Yeah, I don't envy. You. And then, uh, we, then we have, you know, I don't know if you've heard of it, the uh, um, world's greatest con. 
Right. There's also World's Greatest Con being cooked up. There's there's, that. there's secret stuff that we're not even talking right. about that's being cooked up. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Of, uh, there's a lot going. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, but I will say, uh, I don't, I don't know. We like. It feels like we as like a organization have like, um, uh, I don't know a good way to describe this, um, but have like expanded very stably. Yes. Where it feels like, I don't know, where it felt like back in the day, maybe if we were working with someone, maybe we would still be working with them after a few mm -hmm. weeks, or maybe they would move out of the state and mm -hmm. stay in our slack for some reason. Um, uh, uh, it's not the person you're thinking. Um, <laughs> uh, but, but between, between you, Annalisa, even John, who's been here for a very long time now. I, I mean, I don't know. I think it's partly me recognizing that I've been here almost a, almost a decade. Yeah. Wow. I know. I, I know. I'm to be old by now. <laughs> I'm getting there. Damn. I'm working on it. Woo. Um, that's right, JC Calhoun. I'm throwing OMG Chad under the bus. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it. No. Oh, man. Um, Nailed it. Uh, and then we have Jeff. And, and we've, been, we've been Jeff who like trying to get Jeff more and more involved. Yeah. And like him being involved shooting stuff. He yep. helps out with camera work here on night on great on the Ooh. great night. Oh, it's close. <laughs> it's close. Um and so I don't know. I'm feeling a little a little wistful, I guess. Yeah. Just looking back a little. It's been 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 here for a while. So it's been a while. That's that. Um uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's not a full belt. It's just a bell. That's right. It's, yeah. Um, uh, Elkander's asking if we got any critical racing theory tonight. I don't think we have any time today to do uh, Chris's next ranking. No, no, you're good. Yeah. Uh, I will say I have been going back and watching the first half of the 2021 season. Okay, really? And it's it's been fun. It's been good to see. I did not realize how like strong both Ferrari and McLaren were at the start of the season yeah. mm -hmm. compared to where they ended up. Yeah, um, yeah, because they obviously start, stopped developing their current cars to focus on next year. Uh, yeah, 2022's cars. Yeah. So, um, but uh, this is Red Bull and Mercedes. Seems how they were they were fighting to win the championship. They mm -hmm. had to dump a lot of money and effort in to keep those cars fast. And that's why you saw such a large uh, gap. gap between yeah. those top two teams and everybody else. It wasn't even remotely close at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and then going back and watching some older stuff like 2017, like Sebastian Vettel at Ferrari era stuff and like him fighting with Charles over mm -hmm. positions and stuff like that. It was it was great. And it did make me feel like your bet that Ferrari could be a number one team this season. Mm -hmm. I, I'm yeah. putting some water in that bucket. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, especially with Carlos, Carlos and Charles, like. Mm -hmm. They just drive together. They they drive great together. Yeah, they do. Uh, uh, actually, me and my brother were talking about it just 30 minutes ago on how we thought that uh, Red Bull has the drivers that could do it. Not Red Bull, I'm sorry. Uh, Ferrari. Ferrari, right? Because yeah. if you took the two Ferrari drivers and put them in Mercedes... It would not be... Mercedes would have had more points, don't you think? Uh, mm. Both well, drivers... They are very consistent. Down. Yeah. They are very consistent. They end up... Dri ri driving next to each other most of the time. Mm hmm. Hmm. They would have more points. I know it hurts you a little bit. It does a have, little bit. They uh, would have more points. It would be interesting to see. I mean, they're very, they're very strong. And even like Lando showed, he was very strong in the, the first half of the season. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, there we go. We got a little bit of critical racing theory. Thank you, Corey. Yeah. For joining me here. And thank you, everybody, for thank you, everybody, for listening in to uh, the the great night. Which is the name of the podcast. <laughs> I know the name of the win podcast. The Did you almost win the belt? Mm, maybe. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> Sometimes you know, I, words I, I, coming out of your mouth just <laughs> end up sounding like an attack in the middle of the night. That, <laughs> that, oh, yeah. Sometimes. Ooh, you so you're, you're having a great <laughs> night. <laughs> and then you get uh -huh. attacked in the <laughs> night by your own impression. <laughs> <laughs> I I do that like verbal thing as like a crutch a lot as like a like like there's a little bit of verbal cut uh, well you know you know but yeah. I've never once put together that that sounds like the Hulk <laughs> oh, maniac oh like Hulk uh, Hulk sorry Hogan. sorry who yeah the uh, the Hulk, Hulk Hogan brother that's actually not bad yeah no um, keep going yeah try with uh, the, try it with the uh, uh, 
saying the N-word after having sex with Bubba the Love Sponge twice. <laughs> Probably. I don't have enough sushi no. burps for that. Okay. Um, well, maybe next time. Maybe next time. I will say, I did watch more than zero wrestling over... Ah, that was something we were going to talk about. I watched some wrestling over the weekend. Did you watch the, the Royal Rumble? I watched the first half of the Royal Rumble. There was a lot of Royal. There, was a, there was a lot of Royal. Queen was there? I was told yep. it Prince was... Charles. Prince uh, Andrew, the yeah. Queen and the King, in the yeah. junior division, in, yeah, and uh, uh, and they all coronated each other, and it was mm. great. It was, of, it was great because the King, the King lost one match, but don't worry, he came back and won another. He won another match, and so he's still the King. Thanks. King stay the King. It seems like they have a lot of uh, belts in that company. It seems they like do. there's a lot of belts that they fight they for. They do. Yeah, it's a kind of a sloppy mess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, uh, it's still the one of the most fun things on television ever. There's just something really interesting about everybody counting together and then a random person coming out. Johnny Knoxville was there. Oh right, wasn't bad? <laughs> not not was not bad baby. Who was it that was there? Bad, bad bunny. bunny. Bad bunny. Bad bunny. Yeah who is like a legit music superstar and is for whatever reason, so fascinated by wrestling that he actually is good at it. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, thank you everybody for joining us here in the green room. Great room. Uh, we are going to get ready for the show show. Uh, let's do some checks. Brett, are you good? Uh, hello. Friend. Ooh, that's the voice. Hello friend. Uh, Corey, yeah. Annalisa, Brian and Justin. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. All righty. Let's uh, thank you everybody for listening in. Patreon.com slash great night is the, website uh where you can support this and all sorts of other great stuff brett i'm gonna count you in cool in